Hello everyone, this is chapter 4, part 6. In this part, we'll learn about using p-values to determine the level of significance. So last time we looked at this, right? We learned how to do conduct a t uh, test. And the last thing I showed you was this p-value, right? The, the, this number, okay? So long story short, I'm going to give you the short answer right at the beginning. Whatever you see p-value, that is the level of significance. For instance, this is 0 0.01, right? This is beta hat. B hat is statistically significant at 1% level. For instance, what's the significance level of A hat? It is 0 0.016, 16%, which is greater than 10%. Therefore, we say it is not statistically significant. So for for a coefficient estimate to be statistically significant, it needs to be strictly less than that level. Uh, its p-value should be less than the level of significance we are talking about. So let me now give you the long story, okay? A p-value gives you the exact level of significance for a test statistic. Treat as statistically significant only those parameter estimates with p-values that are smaller than the maximum acceptable significance level. So p-value, right, 0 0.08, this is significant 8, uh, this coefficient estimate is significant at 8% level. So it's less than 10%, you can say it's statistically significant at 10% level, but not at 5% level. So in English, p-value, for instance, 0 0.003, this is statistically significant at 0.3% level. Therefore, it is significant at 1% level. Why? Because 0 0.3 is less than 1%. You can say it is statistically significant at 1% level. It's also, if it's significant at 1% level, automatically it's statistically significant at 5% level and 10% level. But we always talk about the lowest level, okay? So p-value 0 point, for instance, 0, 01. This is, you can say, this is this coefficient estimate. B hat is statistically significant at 1% level. Let's say we found something like 0 0.05 p-value. You can say it automatically statistically significant at 5% level. Check this out, 0 0.078. This is statistically significant at 10% level. Why? Because it's less than 10%, but greater than 5. How about this one, 0 0.10. Statistically significant exactly at 10% level. A p-value, for instance, you find it to be 0 0.78. This is statistically significant at 78% level. So we say it is not statistically significant at conventional levels. Okay, so we learned how to determine if a coefficient is statistically significant by looking at the p-values. For instance, intercept is not statistically significant because intercept a hat p-value is 0 0.1665. This is statistically significant at 16%. So we say it's not significant because it's greater than 10%. This thing, look at the beta hats. P-value, P-value for beta hat is 0 0.01. So this is exactly 1%. Again, this you can say it's statistically significant at 1% level. Okay, so next we will talk about R square. So I clean the screen for you. We're going to learn about what R square means. Let us continue. Coefficient of determination, R squared, measures the fraction of the total variation in the dependent variable, Y, that is explained by the regression equation or explained by the variation in X. Okay, so R squared will take on values between 0 and 1. Keep that in mind. High R squared indicates that Y and X are highly correlated in single independent variable explanatory variable regression model but it does not prove that y and x are causally related so you can't say x causes y but there is a high correlation between them okay so high uh, high correlation is good something we're looking for r squared here shows 0 0.76 this means 
percent of the variation in y variation in y is explained by variation in x okay that's really good higher the r square is the better okay so examples of high and low correlation x and y right as you can see there's a negative correlation between x and y and the line is steeper steep line compared to this panel b so this is a negative strong correlation the correlation between variables x and y in panel b as you can see the fitted regression line is flatter it's a positive correlation here by the way positive correlation sorry for horrible handwriting and let's write it better and this is a weaker correlation because it's flatter okay so i'll see you in chapter four part seven